It's gotten much quicker. I think the game's been sped up a lot. I think there's more offense in the game. When I played, we played with a white ball with a cork middle and, you know, purely aluminum bats. Now we have, you know, uh, an increase in the core of the ball. We also have uh, more high performing bats. So it's become much quicker. I think a good hitter when I played hit around 330 a year for a batting average. Now you're a great hitter if you hit over 400. So the offense has really gone uh, strong. And, you know, I think the speed has been phenomenal in our game. Just the quickness of the athletes, a lot more stolen bases, a lot more just quickness in the game. It's a game of speed and explosiveness. Have you noticed an increase in the number of girls who grow up playing softball? Absolutely, absolutely. When I was playing, there were a few, you know, elite level travel teams in Southern California. Now it's just grown exponentially. There's more girls interested. I think the, you know, having the sport in the Olympics t completely helped that. Um, and the growth of the sport in general, more, more youth programs offering the sport younger, getting kids involved. I think competing with basketball, competing with volleyball, competing with soccer, exposing kids to the sport younger, um, they're, they're getting hooked and enjoying it. Were you disappointed to see the Olympics cut softball? Yes, yes, that was a huge blow. You know, it, it took away dreams for a lot of young women and that was sad to see. And I think it, it definitely hurt the sport in the sense of we felt like we were gaining a lot of momentum and it just kind of has been a time to stop and evaluate and figure out what we kind of need to do to keep moving the sport forward on a worldwide stage. Because I think in the United States, it's a strong sport and it's got a lot of viewership. I mean, I can't tell you how many people ask me or say to me, hey, the College World Series was so exciting. And these are people who normally, you know, don't watch softball that much or go, you know, to softball, but they see it on TV and it's exciting television sport. What effect, if any, will it have on your recruiting efforts? None really. I think that, you know, I. For where I am coaching at Harvard, I think the students, you know, come and this is the pinnacle of their career, pl career playing at college. I have a few kids that are interested in playing overseas after they graduate and doing a few things like that. But I think in general, a lot of female athletes really see college as the pinnacle of their career. Some extend beyond with the Olympics, national team, international competition, but that may extend them, you know, three to five years out versus, you know, end it right at college, but so. What kind of opportunities exist overseas? Um, well, there's um, leagues in Japan, um, in the Netherlands, um, Switzerland. There's always there's a lot of European leagues. We always get emails to say, especially pitching, they want a pitcher for you know the European national ch championships and things like that. So there's a lot of opportunities over there, I think, to play beyond college. Um, and a few players, you know, take advantage of that for a couple years after post-graduation. And some now we have the pro league, and although we've had some momentum and it's died down and some momentum, it's, it's, a, it's an option for some athletes post-college. Do opportunities exist even for American players on those foreign teams? Yes, usually they're allowed to have one or two American players. They're limited to one or two. What can people do to increase the visibility and popularity of softball? I think really watch it on TV, go to the programs, go to the college games. I mean, it's great. Now, I was watching a game um, this past weekend that I actually taped, and I was seeing Oklahoma play Missouri in a conference matchup, and they had 1,800 fans there. So I think going to the games, watching the games on television, just giving that you know, fan support and building up our base. And finally, Coach, what will it take to get softball back in the Olympics? That's a great question. I think it's definitely going to take a lot of grassroots effort that we're doing in, in building up clinics and exposure in other countries and getting, getting more of a national stage with the sport and national interest. And I, and I think really keeping you know, the women progressing at a strong level with national teams, you know, having um, different European nationals, Canadian nationals, that's Canada Cup, all of that stuff that builds international draw, I think is huge for our sport. And I think people just, the, the athletes need to be committed to continuing to play. And it, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. It's a great sport. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.